running at a higher level of performance and using more power. Let me show you a simple demonstration. Notice the Turbo Boost monitor in the upper right hand corner of the screen. You see the speed of the processor is rated at 2 GHz. This is its base performance level. I'm going to open up the Microsoft Office application PowerPoint. The PowerPoint presentation I'm going to use has a lot of complex graphics. Watch the turbo meter to see how much the Turbo Boost technology increases the processor performance as it loads the presentation and paints each of the slides of the presentation. Did you notice how the blue bar rose to the top and the number it displayed? 3.07 GHz. Turbo Boost technology increased the speed or horsepower from 2 to 3.07 GHz for the time it took to open and paint the presentation. Now let's change the view of the slides so the processor will have to paint them again and we can watch the Turbo Boost technology kick in one more time. Did you watch the blue bar this time? Turbo Boost went even higher, all the way to 3.2 GHz, helping to complete the task faster. So to summarize, Turbo Boost technology offers more processor performance on demand. If the task you are doing will benefit from more horsepower, then Turbo Boost technology steps in to help. More power when you need it automatically. When higher performance is not required, the processor runs at its base speed using less power, and using less power is always a good thing.